we know that one significant relationship can actually help repair and create resiliency and build a child back. And that's why we ask for lifelong connections. Foster parents can most definitely raise successful children. And I like to be able to be the face of that success as well. To say, um, if I can do it, you can do it with them as well. Pathway staff are the best at conveying our mission statement of safety, stability, and belonging. And they really are the ambassadors for our program and they set the tone for all the work that we do. I have a passion for working with children in care, simply because I know what it's like to not be raised by my own uh, natural uh, parents. And it gives me a passion for working with the foster children. What I love most about working at Pathways is the sense of uh, family and community. Um, everyone here is really warm and supportive and it's just a really amazing sense of support. Pathways events are always really fun and I think that's sometimes where we see foster parents drawn to our organization. We've heard a lot that our events are kind of what makes it special so we really do like to celebrate families and children. Pathways puts on really fun events for our families. The staff are part of it, the families are part of it, and there's food and games and prizes. There's always prizes no matter what we're doing. There's always prizes which makes things really fun and the kids usually really love participating in that as well. It's really nice for the kids to be able to see um, culture infused in almost every event that we have here at Pathways. What makes a great foster home are so many things and it's not one formula, but at the end of the day, um, believing and respecting kids is first and foremost. We need really flexible and adaptable parents who can see beyond today into the bigger picture and can understand that our kids are coming from environments where maybe their needs haven't been met and are able to see beyond what they need out of children and see what the children need from them. There's times where you need to take time off for doctor appointments or uh, school supports and things like that, so that's really important. Being okay with multiple people kind of in your home and, and asking uh, how things are going. The team can be quite large at times too, so you want to make sure that you have room for all those people in your life. What I feel makes a very good foster home are foster parents who have compassion, who have empathy for these children, who want to have an understanding of their backgrounds and where, they're com and where they come from, and most importantly, having a compassion for their culture and wanting to learn with these children about, about their backgrounds. When you're thinking about becoming a foster parent, there are particular requirements and eligibility and those can be found on our website. There's training that comes with this. You don't have to come understanding all of these things. You don't have to come understanding what trauma means in the child's brain. We're going to help you, but you have to be willing to learn. So that's why flexible and adaptable parents are the key component of who we're looking to bring to Pathways. Because there's such an overrepresentation of First Nations uh, children in care, um, culture is important. We need to know where we come from so that we know where we're going. Once a child is able to know where their roots come from, I feel that they're just able to flourish so much more. When parents and foster caregivers work together, you can see a change in the child. They're happier, they're less stressed, they're more confident and it really is a beautiful gift to give to the children. And helping the foster parents to realize that you can raise successful children regardless of the hardship that these children go through, regardless of the traumas that they have. Foster parents can most definitely raise successful children. I'm beyond proud of Pathways Family Services. I'm so proud of the families that we work with. Um, you know, we see our kids kind of get to that 18, 19 mark and they still come back to the Christmas party and get to see us and how we're doing. And, you know, those are the things that make me most proud is when I see those relationships maintained and sustained. You know, technically the fostering obligation, if you will, ends when kids turn 18, but we really do want lifelong connections for our families and we want our caregivers and our foster parents to embrace that philosophy as well.